So Figma just released this new glass effect based off Apple's Liquid Glass UI available in the latest iOS update. And in this video, we're going to take a first look at how to use it. Studio Shepherd. So to support the release of this new glass effect, Figma has released this file, which is basically documentation around how to create and use the glass effect, as well as some cool examples and use cases. And so I'm going to drop this link in the description below for you guys to go have a look. So in this file, we also have some playground components. So I guess these are just some components for you to play around with and experiment with the new glass effect. But basically, I just want to jump in. I've created this new page and I'm going to show you how to create and use this glass effect. And so you can't apply this effect to shapes and text for the time being. So basically you have to create a frame. So with the frame tool, I'm just going to draw out a square. And then in the right hand panel, we can go down to effects and then under here, we now have this new glass effect. And so there's a bunch of settings that go with this. So we can play around with the refraction of our image behind the depth of our glass. And so you can see if I bump this right up, we now have this really nice distortion happening around the edges, the dispersion. So basically this is the distortion of color and light and then frost. So how blurry we want our glass to be. We can also play around with the direction of light and the intensity of light on our edges. And so in a nutshell, that's basically how to create the glass effect. Now I'll do another example of how to create a liquid glass button component. So this is super simple. So we're basically going to select the text tool and add my text. So I'm just going to say button and then holding shift a to create an auto layer. And we can adjust the padding of our sides and the top and bottom. And then same as before, we're going to go down to effects and we're going to select the glass effect. And so same as before, we can customize this to what we like. And here we can also round off the corners. So this is really nice in creating this distortion around those edges and it looks super natural. And the cool thing here is that we can also create colored glass just like in the new liquid glass update. And so to tint the color of your glass, basically we're just going to add a fill. And let's say, might select a blue. And then all we have to do is change the blend mode at the top to color. Now you can definitely play around with different blend modes to get different effects, but I found this one works pretty well. Next, I'm just going to decrease the color opacity down to, let's say 50. Now we've got this colored liquid glass effect. Now the final use case, which I actually saw in the documentation, which I thought was really cool, was basically to create this glass window effect to add on top of your images. So I'll show you basically what I mean. So same as before, we're going to select the frame tool, draw out basically a tile, and we're going to give it the glass effect. Here I'm going to have everything up to full, except for frost. And then holding Alt, click and drag to create a duplicate, and then Command D to repeat that action. And so if we select all of these, I'm just going to scale them down so they fit within our image and then holding alt again, 
drag down a row and follow in the same steps. And then just like that, we've created this really cool liquid glass mosaic. So I really like this. I think there's a lot of cool use cases and you can create some really unique imagery using this effect. And so that's a first look at the new glass effect in Figma. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest design tips. I'll see you in the next video.